Hey, it's Dr. Brian from Lighthouse Educational Consultants. Um, if you can, the box below, click on it, uh, join our email list. We send out a lot of different stuff with uh, with the emails. If I come across different things uh, or article or website or video, I think it's pretty important. I like to send it out to the people on the email list just to get you started, get, get you rolling and say, oh, hey, you know what, here's some educational stuff. So what are we talking about today? Preschool signs of a learning disability. Now, I am not talking about an obvious learning disability, being blind, uh, not able to hear, using sign languages. They're easily spotted, easily diagnosed. There are already pre-made plans in place, and your school system probably offers some early intervention stuff to get you going. What I'm talking about is a student who's going to school, um, you know, they can hear it, they can see it, they just can't get it locked into the memory. So what are we talking about? Sometimes it's going to be signs of like delayed speech. Sometimes it's not finding the right word in conversation. When I say not finding the right word, they never find it. You know, they're struggling, they just, they know it's in there somewhere, they can't re recall it and they're really starting to get frustrated with. Um, cannot rhyme. And you'll see that happens a lot, or they don't get that that is a rhyme. So they don't get the connection. But one thing with not finding the right word in conversation, there is a difference between that, never finding the right word, and this child who has got a million thoughts, they're trying to get everything out at one breath, and they're you know hung up on this one word. That's different. That's, you know, that sometimes that's the sign of the very intelligent child, because now they it's not they can't find the right word. They have about 50 different words they're trying to get out at once. They just need to slow down, take their breath, and then go. So there's going to be a difference there. Um, they can't follow simple directions. Put this here, take this there. Rights, lefts, gets confused. Put this on top of, and it's a vocabulary word to get hung up. Or you'll hand it an object to say, go put this on my desk. Never happens. They get caught somewhere in between doing something else. Very easily distracted. And this is a lot of times you'll see it is they're told to do one thing, you know, sit down, play with your puzzle, do this, and then run around the classroom, or they're taking stuff from other students, or, uh, and it's not that they're doing it intentionally, it's just at their moment, their mind is saying, all right, we've got to go do this, so they're just following what they're, they believe is the, the next thing that they're supposed to do, not realizing everybody else is often doing something else. Uh, have trouble learning new information. It's going to be across the board with letters, the letters, the sounds, sounds, the basic words. Uh, and, you know, they'll call it blends where you're starting to put letters together with sounds and use the blend. All right, this, these two sounds make this, add another letter, and you've got this word. Change that letter to another letter. You got, they don't get any of that. That just doesn't, doesn't work uh, for them. But they also have numbers. Numbers don't go in the right order. They don't make a logical sense that... Here's one, add another one, you have two. They, they don't understand this stuff. Um, the final things is they don't get that routine at home or the routine at school. And one of the things that we find with a lot of students, and usually about the first month, you, you know, who, who may have a learning disability or who does it. By the first month of school, of preschool, they're in a routine. Every morning starts with, and let's just say they do attendance, uh, the next thing might be the calendar. So here's the day in the month, and that's, you know, let's just say it's a Monday, and it's the first of the month. It's the month of September, year 2000, whatever. Uh, the next thing they may do is the weather. Well, it was rainy that day, or it's cloudy, or it's sunny, it's 80 degrees. Uh, they'll go through it, and maybe they order lunch. They go through all this, but that child never gets that routine. They it, Their routine is totally different. Their playing or attempting to play while everybody else is sitting down doing what they're supposed to do. So they have trouble getting into that routine and if at any point that routine ever changes, they deviate back to their play or to what they wanted to do. These are just signs of disabilities. Now, what happens if you see these signs of disability? Well, it's pretty simple. You need to start finding, a lot of times your local system will have a way for you to access resources on ways to help these children learn. It's not a bad thing. They may learn differently. It could be a learning styles thing. It could be a processing thing. 
But until you get in front of the professionals and say, here's where my child is. Now, a lot of times your preschools, your daycare centers are already going to have that connection made with the schools. And they may even approach you and say, hey, look, here's what we're seeing. Let's talk the next step. If they do that, pay attention. These are the signs. And they're saying, hey, your child's going to need a little bit of extra help. And that extra help might just be somebody to help coach them, remind them, hey, we're doing this right now. You know, they're just refocusing them. But if you don't, you say, oh, no, it'll just get better. It doesn't get better. They'll go into kindergarten and they'll have a total meltdown because now kindergarten is real serious. If you don't fix it at kindergarten, they'll go to first grade. And then even bigger meltdowns will happen because first grade is when, hey, it's a little more serious at kindergarten. So we've got to start paying attention to stuff. And if you're in a state like we are, by the time you hit third grade, now we're testing the kids. And they have to take and pass tests. Well, if you've had issues at kindergarten and at first grade and you've ignored the learning disability stuff, by the time they hit third grade, they're already behind, so far behind that for them to catch up is going to be you know, a mammoth project. So don't put that on your child. If you know and you see that something is wrong, go correct it. Well, I'm glad you came here. I'm glad you looked at the signs of learning disabilities. I hope this has helped. I hope this puts you on a path to find out what could be wrong and what you could do to best help your child. So thanks for coming by. Look for other Lighthouse products. We have stuff on time management, goal study, study skills. Before you come by, for you look and sign up for our email list, we're going to give you four free webinars. They're all learning styles, support system, brain games, and the brain dump. And they're for free. Like I said, you'll get a lot of information through our uh, uh, email list because we'll start sending different stuff. And it's not all learning style or it's not all learning disabilities or learning styles. It's all spectrums of education. So one week might be a couple of study strategies, the next week might be something about gifted and talented. So it kind of goes through every uh, every aspect. And hey, good luck in reaching all your educational goals.